Hello there. So, I um, have not been uh, reading any spiritual books recently, and I just came to a friend Adam Hint's house in Nebraska, so I checked out one of my favorite books, The Power of Now, and I started rereading it, and uh, it was really really nice to, to come back to it and uh, remember all the all the amazing teachings in this book and um, although I haven't been reading these books I have been doing my best to be mindful and uh, came up with a thing a thing called nowism which is just there's only one rule which is be here now uh, which is easier said than done um, but I intend to, um, to start a more, uh, more regular meditation practice because I imagine it like a snow globe. It's like all day the snow globe is being shaken and it's key to, uh, to, to let the snowflakes settle and a great way to do that is meditation so um, one thing I like to do to meditate is uh, do like hold my hands like this on my on my legs while I'm sitting um, and then do maybe five minutes with my thumb touching my first finger then my second finger for five minutes then my third finger for five minutes then my pinky for five minutes and you can just estimate how long um, to do it for you don't have to like set a timer or anything but that's just one recommendation um, and I think the most important thing I think um, is just this concept of being aware of your thoughts and learning to disidentify from your mind and so I have this concept of the mental advisors are the little guys that I've been conditioned to have in my head. The one little guy is always um, always thinking up possible futures that could happen. Another guy is his job is to um, is to doubt whatever is happening so he just always is doubting things. Another guy is like, uh, is always, like if I, I do something that's embarrassing, it's like it'll keep playing in that memory back. And uh, I think just by, by maybe writing down all the different uh, little guys in your head, it, it allows you to, to watch them. And then you can just start laughing at these conditioned mind patterns that we have. Because I really think that's one of the most revolutionary things we can do is understand the conditioning of our own minds and then we can mold it however we want so that we're so that we're not our, we're not run by our thoughts um, we have control over our thoughts and the best way to tell is if you're if you're still run by your thoughts then you can't just stop thinking and because I haven't been uh, practicing meditation too much I I feel like I'm, I'm plagued by the, the constant thinking, which everyone's in our society mostly is. I, I believe that um, people who, have, um, who haven't grown up in this culture aren't constantly thinking, and we're convinced that we identify with our thoughts so that uh, we think if we stopped thinking, we would just like disappear or something. But um, I really think it's key to realize that the mind is just one little tool the egoic mind is just one little tool in this of our massive tool shed of our being um, so I'm gonna post some uh, some Eckhart Tolle videos which are really good and I definitely recommend the power of now even coming back to it regularly is, is awesome so um, yeah that's the message for today I intend to step up my meditation practice because I think the key to 
creating a sustainable world is to dissolve these boundaries between ourselves and each other and the world and that will take away all this disconnection and separation and madness that is largely taking over the world or is taking over the world but is slowly being taken away or slowly being unraveled by people becoming more conscious of what's going on so thanks for watching please uh leave a comment or something else peace